Hi everyone, it's Dark Jen Plays here. Welcome to a first look at Polyhall Defense, which is a, uh, a top-down tower defense game. Um, it's an interesting one because it's uh, slightly more graphical than most tower defense games, which is uh, certainly something that I think is missing from the genre in some cases. Uh, you have some very basic ones like Shape Breaker and things like that, and obviously uh, Rogue Tower and other things as well, where they are uh, minimalist to a point. Uh, and then you have other ones as well, like Polycore Defense here, which is aimed to be at the other end of the cell with graphics and everything. Um, doesn't necessarily make it a, uh, a worse game or anything if it's got better graphics, but you know, we will see how this one plays out. Uh, you'll notice there's no sound at the moment. That's because uh, when you first start it up, it actually asks you if you're a content creator and says to mute it if you are, because the uh, music is probably copyrighted. Um, I'm sure that's something they may look at in the future, because you know, a lot of games nowadays, if they want to get big, they have to be on YouTube or Twitch. But I digress. Uh, so this is the first look. As I say, there is a uh, standard first look rules that we have on the channel. 20, 25 minutes. See how we, uh, how much content we find from there. If you want to find out more about the game, it will be linked down below in the description. Uh, and you can always visit down there and uh, maybe subscribe while you're down there as well. Other than that, let's crack on and play. I've already been through the settings. There's enough settings to be able to get on with the game like this. Uh, you know, graphic settings and audio settings and various other things as well. And we'll dive in. Obviously, we've got you know, things like turret info and enemy info as well. We'll come to that later once we've already played for a wave or two. Just so we can see exactly what things we've got there there's also perks as well which i believe is going to be your kind of your uh, rogue lighty elements where you're upgrading things in between things but we'll find out so let's play uh let's do the first one which is arrival and easy normal hard or let's do normal and that's all fine and then ooh, i guess an ability of invulnerability uh duration of 12 seconds okay let's see how this works okay uh okay oh, i believe i played the demo for this I'm going to check. Okay, so I think I actually might have played this on Twitch rather than on YouTube. If you want to follow me on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash darkjitterplays underscore. Um, you'll be able to find that link down below as well. Right, so yeah, I do believe I've played this. I didn't get any copyright strikes on there, so I'm going to risk having some of the music on in a second. Um, I think I'll be fine. Uh, open the arrow tab, oh, sorry, open the arrow top right or press tab to see your arsenal. There we go. Right, let me just see if I can get the music on just a tiny bit because it's a little bit weird without any music at all. Oh, right. Uh, okay, so you can pop down any one of these. Yes, I've definitely played this before. So we stick a minigun. Uh, I'm going to pop it there. It's fine. Right, so you can upgrade turrets by clicking on there, and you can buy one of these things here. I'm going to take uh, High Caliber just to do some more of that. Press G or the ability I'm going to yeah, Okay, that's fine. Click the I'm ready button. Okay, ready. Okay, I'm going to skip all those because I think I understand how this works. I did actually quite like this. So, spacebar makes things go. These are your enemies. This is your turret down here. There we go. Right, so we've got 474. So we can place down another minigun. I'm going to stick it there. And we're going to give you overclock. Just to make you go a little bit faster. So each turret has a different visual style based on how you, you kind of design it, if you like. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm ready again. Can't afford any other um, turrets just yet, but we will be able to shortly. There's a new enemy type here. This is why you have a second turret down. Okay, 250 is about to be passed. I'm going to take a laser beamer and I'm going to stick you. Ah, okay. That's it, that's fine. Let me just do it again. So the laser beamer actually has an area of influence that you can't shoot through because of tree stuff. So I'm going to pop it here so that it can reach all of those corners there. Uh, and then upgrades, yeah, range extender is fine, aerial targeting, so you want to be able to shoot at flying enemies. Let's go for the next wave. Laser beamer is actually quite tough, so that's good. So some enemies, I believe, will follow this path, but they'll be flying. And they won't uh, touch the floor, basically. Okay. Intensity amplifier increases the damage the longer a beam stays on the target. Explosive beam. Okay, we'll take the explosive beam on there. Uh, I'm not going to buy anything else. I'm going to go on to the next one. Yes, they're tougher enemies. That's good. Okay. Now it's just a case of uh, making sure things move along swiftly. So let's uh, speed things up a little bit. Things are exploding on the left there. That's nice. I don't need to do anything else. I want to get another turret next. Minigun 
gun's doing quite nicely for me. So I'm going to get this proton sniper in a second. Because they're quite a nice weapon type. Lovely. Right. Okay, so the next one's armoured. Reduces incoming damage by 50%. Bypassed by certain turrets on my Okay. So I'm going to take the proton sniper and I'm going to whack it in the middle. Top left here. Oh, it's not going to make any difference. I'm going to stick it here instead then. Um, sadly, it's going to get blocked. So I want it to cover all of that as much as possible. And then we've got any upgrades you can buy for 16. No. 75 though isn't too bad for the range extender. But I'll probably go for the solidifier. Well, I don't know actually. Maybe the particle collider. Got an achievement there called deadly for 100 kills I'm guessing. I buy the particle glider. It's basically crit chance. Cool. Right, healing enemies. So on this one here, you've actually got a heal nullifier. Which is quite nice. You haven't got that on this one. You've got melting heat though, which is probably the ones I want. Okay, uh, let's go. I'm okay with the turrets I've got at the moment. Should be good. So as a standard turret uh, kind of uh, tower defense game, I should say, not turret defense game, there's a lot of normal things in here for most games, which is fine. Yeah, so from here it's just a case of surviving a few waves. Get some more money. Uh, slow immunity. Okay, that's fine. Don't care about that. The only thing we are doing is freezing people at the moment, which is okay. Let's see what we can do with this guy over here. So we've got armor piercing. I think we'll take some of that. And then thermal sensor. Maybe targeting cloaked enemies wouldn't be a bad thing. We can do those with this one as well, I think. Uh, oh no, we can't. We're okay. okay let's keep killing things. All good. Right. Uh, okay. Stun immunity. That's fine. I'm going to carry on now. Let's see what you can do now. Take that. So as you can see, we don't need that many turrets at the moment to be able to get through the first few waves. I did remember getting to wave uh, kind of 35, 36 on the, uh, the demo that I played. It was tough. Did it. I would like to get something. So I need to get 300 to get one of the newer turrets. Nice. Okay, boosting. Enemies in close proximity of an enemy with this modifier will have increased move speed. Okay. So when we get a little bit of money, I will be able to buy one of these. I think. Can I buy one? New turret unlock at level 1. Ah, so there's a leveling system as well. Uh, where is that? That's interesting. There's my leveling system. It's here. Oh, okay, right. Okay, so I'm a fair way off of that. That's fine. So we'll just pop down on the laser beamer, I think. Um, not the YouTuber, of course. But if he wants to visit my channel, that'd be great. Uh, we'll pop it here, I think, just so we've got coverage. Um, we will have some aerial targeting. I guess the range extender wouldn't be terrible either. We can at least get him down there, maybe. Let's carry on this guy here some very tough enemies coming through now still nothing that's causing me great harm if you like take some range extender on the sniper there I'm aware this guy's a little bit out of his element down here but that's okay I just need him to kind of just sit there for the moment now you can't zoom in or out it's fine though can of course change what they're targeting down here if you want to. I tend to just do first on this one. First wave or first uh, kind of level. Shouldn't need too much uh, complexity on there. Feeling like I need another turret soon. Probably be another minigun. I don't know I'm gonna do what you're not supposed to do and I'm gonna stick it down here. Just so we can cover this corner over here. Let's give you some overclock so you've got faster fire rates. So income is my barrier now. It has been I suppose, but uh, yeah, we need to do a little bit more income. Yeah, 
There we go, we did. So we should be able to deal with all of these now. Proton Sniper covers most of the map, which is fantastic. Uh, infinity range. Uh, we'll take a solidifier. No, uh, heal nullifier, because there are enemies which heal. Uh, but we do need to be careful with that. Now, unfortunately, I don't know which enemies heal, but I'm guessing it's these green ones here, the ones going around the corner there. That's a flying enemy. I'm going to take the thermal sensor there so nothing can get past it's cloaked. I do want to be able to get something on here as well. Aerial targeting, I think, would be best. Good. Right, wave 14. We've now got cloaked enemies. Here we go. Yeah, so the lasers need to do that. Uh, let's take you... Can you do cloaked on there? Can indeed. They will focus on cloaked enemies, which is fantastic. We haven't encountered any splitting enemies just yet. Uh, you can have aerial targeting as well, just to make sure. Here we go, splitting enemies. Right, so you don't have the splitting one. Right. So these new enemy types are going to be a little difficult, maybe. This is potentially where I need a, another turret. Am I going to be able to get one though? Because there's the split. And they have got to come back past here anyway, so we should be okay. Really like that missile launcher, but... Uh, Wait for that. Uh, there's a laser beamer or another sniper. I'm going to whack down a sniper. Oh no, I can't quite afford the sniper. So let's go again. Take another sniper because the snipers are pretty good. Let's take you. I'm going to pop it here. And we're going to focus on getting range. I think having infinite range on that one wouldn't be too bad. Cool. Right, let's go for the next wave. No new modifiers on this one, so that's fine. Uh, let's go solidify, stop them from splitting. Particle collider will be nice as well. And then I guess infinite range and the heal nullifier. So kind of relying on one weapon and one weapon type is fine at this point, because obviously this is the first level. So there we go, infinite range, you can see. Works quite well. Growing enemies, okay. Need your heal another fight, that's fine. Achievement for that as well. I probably want to focus on this laser beamer maybe, because he's got fairly good range. Check that one. That could be a problem. Bit late for that one now. Do you come back into range? Yeah, you do. That's fine. As close as they've got. So you. Thermal sensors targets cloaked enemies. Shielded enemies as well, that's a problem. Let's do some critical strike on there. Should have armor piercing actually. That's okay, we'll take that next, I think. Oh, a little perk. Fantastic. Wait for a second then, get this level out of the way. Ooh. We get a new turret available, so I can have the Zap Tracker, which is uh, deploys the sphere that tracks and zaps enemies, 30 damage per zap every 6 seconds. A gem Miner. Okay. Oh, I've got to hover with the cursor. Okay, maximum 4 gems per wave. It's not great. The Mine Prepper. Continue. I'm going to take the Zap Tracker. I don't really like mines in these. It makes sense uh, from the path scenario, but I prefer... Uh, something that does kind of zap damage, uh, electric damage. So we'll take that one. That is my new thing. So, um, sadly, I don't get to choose which one of these I actually unlock. It's just thrown at me, but that's fine. We've got two more levels to get to the next one as well. Okay. Um, so I can't see what that does at the moment. We'll carry on with this one. Let's take overdrive and arm piercing. Lots of cloaked enemies. Fast enemies too. Yeah. I was hoping there would be a faster speed than just one. That's fine. 
do out. Lots of enemies at the moment. We're okay. Very nice. Right, okay. I have got enough now to pop down the zap tracker. Uh, let me just read what this says again. So it deploys a sphere that tracks and zaps enemies. 16 tracking speed. Okay, well I'm just gonna pop it in here, I guess. I don't I don't really know what it does. I'll have aerial targeting as well. Let's go. Okay, yeah, so it just that's quite nice actually. Dual zap. So it follows the first enemies, which makes sense because that's its targeting. Like the idea of having rapid zapper. Is there Frank zapper? Haha. <laughs> uh, let's go quad zap. Like it. I do like it. Mega zap. Increase zap intensity for more damage. Lovely. Health mark two. Okay, let me just upgrade. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade the rapid zapper. I think. Let's go. Where it won't be able to do cloak enemies, but that's fine. Achievement called You Shall Not Pass. I think that's for a thousand enemies. I guess that. This is actually quite a nice tower. I like this one. Happy I got this one. There's a super tracker. I think we'll build another one of those when we get to 300 gold. Lovely. Let's carry on. Range extender there is actually quite nice on that one. Take it on this one as well in a second. Now we need to get some things on here too. Definitely want to be able to target cloaked enemies with that one. Because they do sneak past still. Zappa's doing its job. I like it. Explosive beam. Thank you very much. Right. Okay. Let's go for the next one. I'll try and save up now for that 300 gold. We should be okay. For that. Yeah, I'm just checking the uh, turrets don't scale up in price. That's absolutely fine. Hopefully have 300 by the end of this wave, maybe. Let's see. And we'll do it. Boom. Lovely. Guys, look scary. Two fifty, two sixty, not point three hundred. Unless we get a wave bonus, maybe we did. Right, okay. So another zap tracker. I'm just gonna whack it over here somewhere next to this tree. Don't care. Let's carry on. Raid this guy. It's a big boss huge but he's gonna die all fine we'll take the uh, dual zap now I'm thinking I'm over there wasn't the best idea but that's just okay live and learn we'll know now that these other ones need to be over here so that they're closer let's have the quad zap Take super tracker, maybe make it faster. Let's uh, carry on. So we've got increased enemy health by three hundred percent now. That's uh, a problem. <laughs> no, we're near level two yet. Take the rapid zapper. In a second, we'll get the mega zap. That'll be that one done as well. The next thing we need to do is just get to level 3 to get another turret. There's my mega zap. Let's 
We're certainly doing all right. <laughs> I have no problems with the progress we're making now. Wave 28, and like we haven't really hit any major problems. So that's another one fully upgraded, fully upgraded. You're not fully upgraded. I'll probably take the uh, solidifier on the next one. Infinite range is interesting as well. Not sure if I'll take it for that one. It reaches everything I need it to reach. But... I might as well give it while it's there. I think I'll go for this overdrive first on this one though. I'll get this range extender, which I've got now. I'm going to save up front of the zap tracker just because they're just too good. Let's go. Wave 30. So this may be a boss, I'm not too sure. Certainly tougher enemies. I don't think we can't handle it. Yep, we're doing okay. Let's give you armor piercing and overdrive just so you make sure you're a little bit tougher. I know it's going to drop down my money again, but that's fine. More than okay with that. Cool, cool. Right. Let's go. Right, so wave 31 is a boss by the looks of it. Who's just going to sit there and take damage now? That's absolutely fine by me. Ooh. I'm not quite at another zap tracker yet, but we're not far off. Oh, another level up. Thank you very much. I don't get anything for it, though. I don't think. And another zap tracker. fast, whatever that was. Some aerial targeting. Did that one nip back there, that was interesting. Almost at some dual zap. Oh, let's carry on. Odd zap. Nearly at the mega zap. It's quite therapeutic just watching this go through and just destroy things. <laughs> right, yeah. Mega zapper in a minute. Oh, sorry, rapid zapper, I should say. And then when the wave finishes, I think we'll be able to get a super tracker. Maybe even before. I've got it at the end, that's fine. So that's another fully upgraded turret. Um, I can't spend any talent points or anything. Like, I can't see any... I'm guessing the perks are going to be later. Um, but we will see. Right. Uh, really like a new turret. We're going to have to wait a while for that because it is way off at the moment. I think what the next turret I want to put down is going to be that's not a zap tracker. I think it might be another laser. So these guys are quite tough. Not making a huge amount of money from them either. Am I going to make it past wave 34? Yes, I think is the answer. It's fine. Right, uh, still not quite at 250. Not making a huge amount of gold for these guys. It's 
still not making a huge amount of gold. What's going on here? I feel like I'm almost being having to pay money for something. Okay, well we've got one now, so let's pop you down. I'm gonna stick it. I'm gonna stick it there. I'm gonna stick it. Stick it there, because then it gets on the corner as well. Should have probably put it on that side, but it's okay. We'll keep going. Maybe we'll target him first, that's fine. What the heck are you? Can't click on enemies to see what they are, but they're big. They are huge enemies, I don't know what they are. Doing plenty of damage to them, so that's fine. Right, what do you got next? Uh, range extend is fine. I'm going to take explosive beam. Okay, we're getting there. The uh, zappers are still doing their work. Right, carry on. His enemies are still quite tough. I do feel like I need another uh, upgrade or two. In thermal sense, it's not too bad, actually. Give me target your cloaked enemies. This is going to be the important part coming around here. Yeah, we're still good. Still fine. We've got two more waves until we get the end. I do feel like I need something slightly more. I mean, the range extender's not bad, at least. Oops, be able to shoot further with that. But that'll probably be the last upgrade I get for that one. I feel like I need another zap tracker. <laughs> I know they're not massively good on the uh, the damage side, it's just the continual damage is good for it. I want to get too far around this corner. Splitting enemies are annoying. That's okay, we did well on that round actually. Right, so that's wave 38 complete. I've got a little bit of money. What, what do I need to upgrade? Nothing on that one. Uh, you're fully upgraded. You're fully upgraded. Not. It's only range. If I extend your range, it doesn't go far. Uh, you're fully upgraded. You are not. I'm not too bothered about the infinite range because it shoots all the way around where I care about. Okay, I'm going to risk it. I think. I mean, the intensity amplifier won't be too bad, actually. We'll take that. Let's go. Let's see if we can beat row 39. So far, so good. Okay, we've just got a load of enemies go around the corner, but that's okay. Why oh, is this zap tracker going back up there? <laughs> cool, right. So this is wave 40. I can't afford a new turret. Um, so we're just going to have to risk it. See? Wish me luck. Might as well buy that. It's the last upgrade I'm going to buy. So those extremely healthy enemies are, are not good for me. But I think we've got this. Oh, that big boss is, is worrying. We're not doing too much damage to him. That's a problem. We should be okay. Cool. Yeah, pause him. Stun him. That's cool. Keep stunning him. Excellent. Done way 40. Ace this map on normal difficulty. I'm actually surprised it didn't take any damage at all there. But I am quite happy with that. Uh, so you can continue in endless mode, which is interesting. No wave, no end of wave gold. Uh, enemy speed scaling, enemy health scaling, and faster spawning. Or you can go straight on to the next map. Uh, I've got two new perk points, and I need to find out where I'm going to spend those. I believe there is a perks thing in the front menu. There is indeed. So here we can get some uh, some stuff. Uh, so I need two to buy barrier, ten percent next level increase, XP gain. Ooh, that's quite nice. I'll probably do that to be honest. Um, pure skill, and it's a five percent chance of dealing zero damage to the core. That's interesting. 
Lucky purchase. 5% chance of having a tone. Ooh, I like that one. I'm going to go for next level because that just makes the most sense. We'll unlock that one. And then can we unlock it again? I think that's just it now. Uh, so we've got an achievement echo. That's helpful. Yes, it is. So there's only two, three, and four. I don't know if there's any more. Okay. Well, I may come back to that one. We've still got plenty of um, XP that we can get from the next level and so on and so forth. When I hit level three, if I replay that level, for example, I'll get more XP and so on and so forth. It's good. But it looks like there's plenty of other maps and things. So Polygon is uh, an interesting one. Uh, there is also some intermediate levels as well. Space Station D, which does look a bit like a D. We'll uh, leave that there. Uh, Nightmare. Oh dear. Interstellar. Oof. Um, anyway, yeah, we're going to leave it there. That's Polycore Defense. Really like that game. I might play another level of that at some other point in the future. Probably play it on Twitch as well if you want to find out uh, when I'm playing that. Follow me down below on the Twitch link. Subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel while you're down there. Uh, and I'm Dark Diller, please. I'll see you for another episode of something else very soon.